Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers. I've got a poem from my book Quiet Mirror. These are lost 20th century characters. This is character number 12. It's called Galactic. Crusty blue earth with its domes of habitation encased, surmounted, drowned as a wet cage appears so vulnerable, hanging science exploration in a vast, expanding telescopic age. Contrasted career, active, varied and interesting. <clears throat> Hobby man with sport, opera, classical and that mixed excitement of a lunar landing or the worst cricketer in southern England. An, extent, an eccentric extrovert of our proud race. The unusual boy who became military and an airman. Then astronomer to the sleeping islands in space. Competitively informative <clears throat> as racing years of toil ran. Always underestimated as our sun, so unknown, bright. To me and us as a whole, watching sky at night. Earth, so susceptible with a false flawed frailty, as stars seemingly float, still blinking frozen by, in lonely black deeps of an almost endless majesty, as dominating a small direction man's story lies. Keen enthusiasm, if infectious interest as valuable friends, Combined respect for your mother's strong influence, staring patiently through the reflector, refractor lens in quiet thinking of our paltry, vulnerable existence. The latest venture has been consistently highbrow, classical worlds of high style and content at the opera, whilst the leaking piano plays its discordant show slowly dictating the flow of specific drama. Ever an author broadcaster, true decent personality, imparting complexities with well-thought, decided simplicity. Now that was written in Harrogate in 1973. I'm not saying who the person was, but I think you can guess quite quickly. Uh, wonderful guy. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.